This video will show the Gravograph IS400 engraving machine with call it spindle engraving into a rifle barrel. We're going to engrave the caliber which is 223 Remington. I will be using a single flute conical end mill, 8 inch shank diameter and a collet spindle. The tool is sharpened to a 10 thousandths tip off and the angle from the center line to the cutting edge is 25 degrees. We'll engrave about 5 thousandths deep on the first pass and make another couple of passes to reach a total of 10 thousandths of an inch depth of cut. The spindle is going about 12,000 RPM and we're going at 7 inches a minute. And if you calculate that out, it comes out to just a little bit more than one half of one thousandths of inch travel per revolution. <clears throat> it seems to be a pretty good compromise for length of tool life and, and the, the evenness and nicety of the cut. We put some cutting oil on the barrel and uh, the thing that makes this a neat operation is that the spindle is spring loaded. You'll see the coil spring here and it has a depth nose, a depth following nose here at the bottom of the spindle. The spindle will come down until the nose contacts the barrel and it's spring loaded so that it will float over the surface of the contour of the barrel. And this black collar at the top allows you to increase the spring pressure or to decrease the spring pressure. Because we're using a small tool it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Once in a while you'll get a little nose rub on the barrel if it's finished and you may have to polish that off just slightly because the, the nose rubbing on the barrel if it's a sensitive finish can leave a slight rub mark. Um, I think that's about it so we'll start the engraving. You'll notice here when it comes down the uh, spring will compress allowing the nose piece to follow over the curvature of the barrel. We're using a three line microgram of font just for something a little bit different. So it goes around each character three times making it a little bit wider character. The character height we programmed was a hundred and fourteen thousandths of an inch no, 104 thousandths of an inch character height because our tool tip being uh, about 10 thousandths of an inch will bring that up to about 0.125 total character height. Here you can see the micrometer where we've set the dial uh, actually we zeroed it a little bit below zero so it's cutting now at about 5,000 depth. And when it's finished we will increase the depth and run it one more time. If we wanted to do a second line uh, we would have to rotate the barrel in the vise and reclamp it and rerun the new checks in a different position. I'll reposition and see if we can get a little better look at this. Not quite as deep as I like, so we'll reset the depth and cut it one more time.
You can see some of the chips from the engraving. And I think we should be about at full depth. Let me see how deep we actually are. And I think I go off a little bit. Looks like we are at about eight thousandths depth, so we'll run one more pass uh, to get to the ten. When we tighten the tool up in the micro and the uh, collet spindle, it tends to pull the tool up into the collet about four or five thousandths of an inch. So we had set the micrometer on zero, and then when we tighten the tool up, it uh, pulled it up. So zero is actually about minus four. So that's the reason why the dial and the micrometer is not corresponding exactly to the depth. So it looks like we're just a little over 10 thousandths deep and the engraving is fairly consistent from the top to the bottom. Again it's the Gravel Graph IS 400 with collet spindle.